Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be finding out how well does Winlater Frost perform on a super low end android device in terms of emulating PC games on android so right here i have the IQ Z6 Lite with a Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 processor along with that 6 GB of ram and as you guys know last week the Winlater Frost 8.0 revision 1 build was released officially on its open source github page with improvements such as brand new turnip driver so more compatibility towards processors new dx wrappers and lot more that's what we'll be testing out in today's this video i have loaded up some brand new games that i haven't tested on this channel before in any of my win later videos if you don't already know on this specific device i managed to run gta 5 inside the horizon emulator if you want to watch that video you can check it out on the icard above and before getting started hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification because we are very close to reaching 100000 subscribers on our channel that would mean the world to me anyways once it has finished initializing we'll simply start setting it up and you can follow the settings that i am going to use 0.3 one box 64 version afterwards duplicate the preset and make sure to set the safe flex level to zero afterwards tap on the tick mark option then create a new container afterwards set the screen size as 800 by 600 and select the turnip adreno driver as the latest 25.0.0 once that has been done tap on the ok button and choose the dx wrapper as 2.4.1 the normal version not the async version once that has been done enable show fps and set the audio driver as pulse audio Afterwards set the video memory size as 4GB then go to advanced settings select the performance preset that you just created in terms of box 64 preset set the windows version as windows 7 or windows 10 depending on the games that you want to emulate i'll go with windows 7 because we'll be emulating some classic titles in terms of startup selection set it as aggressive and then create a container and that was a quick setup of winlater frost along with its best settings once your container has been created you can press the run button afterwards our container will start up now depending on your device it will take some time to boot up your container especially on low end android devices and here we go guys winlater frost has successfully started so here are the games that we'll be trying out in today's video we have the og assassin's creed along with that call of duty modern warfare as well as devil may cry 3 along with that gta 4 as well as amazing spider-man 2 so our today's game test is going to be pretty amazing let's start with assassin's creed i'll just go and open directx 9 version of assassin's creed not the directx 10 because directx 9 runs better on low end android devices and we can just go ahead and open task manager to see if the game has successfully started and there you have it you don't really need to uh, set the safe flags level to 1 or 2 and for today's video we'll be using the general preset provided by the will later frost developer which is in my opinion the best on screen touch controls preset anyways as you'll be able to see assassin's creed 1 has successfully started and at the top left corner you'll be able to see the performance as dxpk hud is also by default enabled in win later frost unlike the win later 8.0 i'll just go ahead and press the enter button to skip the cutscene and start our game you will also be able to see the latest turnip driver version mentioned at the top left corner and as you just saw the game just crashed and here we go guys now i am using the compatibility preset and at least during the beginning cutscene uh, the performance seems to have improved which is ironic the performance should actually go down and this time as you will be able to see once i tap the enter button the game actually started use the compatibility preset but once again as you just saw the game literally forced off so that might also be because of insufficient memory and unfortunately guys as assassin's creed wasn't working we'll move on towards our next game which is going to be call of duty modern warfare i'll just go ahead and press the yes button we'll be trying out this game in the compatibility preset as well but for some reason the game doesn't appear to be opening at all and here we go guys i tried reopening the game and it actually booted so that's pretty interesting let me just go ahead and once again enable input touch controls and set it to general and yeah for some reason the game hasn't even started but the fps is lagging quite a lot that might be because once again we are using compatibility preset but unfortunately guys our game has crashed once again so it is safe to say that call of duty 4 also doesn't work on my low end android device but don't worry we still have a lot more games to test out let me go ahead and set the box 64 preset back to performance one so this time we'll try to emulate some games with the maximum amount of performance which we can get the next game that we'll try out is devil may cry 3 special edition now i personally haven't tested this game out inside the win later android but as you'll be able to see our game actually started and this is super weird guys for some reason i am double tapping on new game but nothing is happening i don't know why this keeps happening i didn't expect this gameplay test to go this way but finally finally and here we go guys let's start our first mission now i'll just go ahead and press back and make sure to enable virtual gamepad and by that time as you just saw 
The game once again crashes. Oh my god, what's actually going on with Winlater Frost? Can I even recommend this simulator to you guys to test out on your low-end Android devices? I am wondering that myself. The game actually booted, the graphical output was pretty amazing, but still for some reason Winlater Frost simply crashed and was not able to handle the game even though the game started. The same thing happened with Assassin's Creed as well as Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So it's safe to say that it might be because this device has insufficient RAM. Anyways, the next game that we'll try out is going to be the amazing spider-man 2 and i hope this does not crash unlike the other games and i hope that our next game which will try out grand theft auto 4 will also work properly on this low end android device because it did work in all the other versions of win later android including the official as well as c mode and once again this game has crashed too all right wait a second guys this might also be because of the turnip driver version 25.0.0 i'll just go ahead and switch back to 24.3.0 and this time let's see if our games actually actually work or not. I completely forgot that sometimes turnip drivers may be incompatible with your device's graphics driver. And yeah guys when I was testing out Spider-Man it also crashed but let me go back to Assassin's Creed and see if it works this time. I'll just cut and spam the enter button and if it still crashes then you guys know it's because of the RAM usage. And it seems like the game has frozen for some reason. And still guys we are out of luck because our games keep on freezing even with the older turnip driver. So this means only one thing that either will later frost is completely not supported for low end android devices or if it's just an issue with my android device. But I have tested this device again and again in all versions of win later android and all of them were able to work properly. Well, win later frost, I guess it's an L. Nonetheless, we'll find that out shortly because now we'll be finally trying out Grand Theft Auto 4. And as you'll be able to see once again, the emulator has completely frozen even though CPU etc is going on. This time I restarted my container and once again, as you'll be able to see, win later frost is completely frozen and this is actually the first Windows emulator for Android which fails my low end Android device test. So yeah, if you own a low end Android device, do not try out the win later frost. That's going to be it for today's video though. That was an abrupt end because I never imagined that none of the games would actually work. Even though we have tested these games out multiple times, they just frequently crashed on my device. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time though. Thanks for watching. Peace out.